Do you ever feel overwhelmed? I'd like to share with you some practical advice for tackling overwhelm. I've worked with several people over the last few weeks that have had too much to accomplish and limited resources. They don't have the time and they don't have the people that they need to get everything accomplished. When I feel overwhelmed, I like to step back and ask myself a couple questions. Number one, why do I feel this way? And number two, what is causing me to feel this way? And I often find that I'm looking at the whole project as a whole and not broken down into small parts. It's very helpful to break big projects into small parts and smaller steps. Breaking them into smaller actionable steps makes progress more tangible and achievable. It also helps to maintain motivation as you complete each of the subtasks. It's really nice to be able to check off things as you get them accomplished. Don't try to accomplish a big project all at once. Focus on the subtask. The next step is to prioritize the task. And you do this by using something like an Eisenhower matrix. You can put it into one of the four categories of urgent and importance. Focus on high priority items first. This helps you address the most critical issues rather than getting bogged down into the less important details. If you have staff available, if you have people available that you can delegate to, identify those tasks that you, they can easily handle that you can take off your plate. This may involve teammates at work or family members at home. It not only reduces your workload, but it also empowers them to improve and to take on additional tasks themselves. Next, set realistic goals. Be honest with yourself about what you can accomplish in a time frame. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll overestimate what we can get done in a time frame. I don't know about you, but I certainly do that. Overambitious goals, they can lead to disappointment and stress. Learn to practice time management. One method is the Pomodoro technique. It involves working in 25-minute increments. So you set a timer for 25 minutes set the tasks in your calendar and this can improve productivity and reduce that feeling of overwhelmed don't forget to take your breaks breaks are critical short breaks can prevent burnout and improve your productivity a lot of times that break will give you just clarity of thought and improve your creativity try uh, some method that's like the 52 17 rule and the 52 17 rule is work for 15 two minutes of focused work followed by a 17 minute break. And when you take that break, a lot of times it's really good just to get out of your office. In fact, if you have the opportunity to be able, if you're near a park or near some wildlife is to go out and take a walk in wildlife and take a, a short break there, it'll help you tremendously. Give it a try. It's crucial to learn to say no, to politely decline additional commitments. Especially when you're at capacity and you're feeling that overwhelmed, you have to learn to say no. It's better to do fewer things really well than to take on many things and not do anything well. I learned a long time ago that you have to learn to say no to good to be able to say yes to great things. Maintain your self-care. When you have a big project and you're working a lot of hours, prioritize your sleep. Aim for at least seven to nine hours of sleep at night. And sometimes if you're really tired, take a nap during the day if you have the opportunity or ability to do that where you're located. Regular exercise, even brief walks, can boost your mood and increase your energy, especially, like I talked about earlier, if they're in nature. It's really important to eat well, too. If you're skipping meals because you're working so hard and you're not taking the time to eat, it can leave you with what I call being brain dead. You start to not be able to even think because you've worked through your meals. Another thing is don't be embarrassed to seek support. He don't have to do this all by yourself. If you're feeling persistently overwhelmed, don't hesitate to reach out to friends or family or prof even professionals. Sometimes talking through your challenges can provide you new perspectives and some different solutions. If you're feeling overwhelmed and would like my help, please get in touch with me at jeffcoachjeff.me.
Thanks and be audacious.